Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we got the spinners, and they're singing one of a kind, love affair is, Love affair is when you don't and it's down, it's down, it's down. Felipe. Uh-uh. We gotta pause the spinners right now. Gotta have a little conversation, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. You guys will hear me repeating things over and over again. You'll be like, all right, already, I heard you say it the 15th time, the 20th time, 100 times. Would you please stop repeating yourself? I thought you said you didn't repeat yourself. And then I have to say, look here, you ignorant son of a... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what, what, I, what I would have to say is some people need the repetition because they need it to sink in. Okay, I did a consult with someone. Well, technically, I did a consult with several people where I tell them, this is what I suggest you do. And then they come up with their own ideas and they suggest to themselves they're gonna do something different. And then when that shiznick hits the fan, okay, and gets it all over the place, all of a sudden they're trying to figure out why they gotta clean up, okay? Well, that's the expression. That's when it hits the fan, it gets all over the place and now somebody gotta clean it up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's my word now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do is understand that if I tell you this is what I would do, I'm not going to tell you to do something that I wouldn't do. Do you understand? I'm not going to say, well, no, go out there, get yourself an RK-54 and go into the middle of the street and just let go. Yeah, just let it go. Okay, you're not gonna hear me say stupid things like that. I just heard you say it. You just said it right here in front of everybody. How you gonna say that you would never say something like that and you just said it? Man, you see, you're a hypocrite. Your mama's a hip. po mo I apologize. <laughs> That's what happens when they interfere with my videos. So, this gentleman, I told him what he needed to do. Now, everybody, they don't want to pay. They just want to ask the question to see if they can skirt around it. Please understand that if you come to me and ask me for advice and you don't want to pay for the services, I'll give you the advice. I don't have a problem. But what I won't do is step on the toes of the organization, which means you're not going to get all of the information necessary. So let me see if I can give you some information tonight that will benefit you. A lot of people don't know how to create wealth because it sounds ludicrous. Okay, so let me tell you how I did it. Because it, no, it ain't no secret. In 2018, I took and sent out, who I think it was probably a hundred different copies of my contract to the different organizations, corporations, agencies, courts, and all of their sub-agencies and all of the facilities and everything. I sent it out to everybody in their grand, hey, grandma, did you get my, did you get my package? Okay. No, I just wanted to make sure you got it. I sent it to everybody and their grandmama. And I just waited. Then I sent them the notice of fault, opportunity to cure. And I just waited. You think they responded back? Not a single one? Man. Because I expected them not to respond back. Did they have a duty to respond? You better believe they had a duty to respond. That's why one attorney general was like, wait, 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 hold on. We don't agree to this. No, we opt out. It's too late, homie. No, nah, you 30 days late. No, nah, he was actually three days beyond the third day. So it's like, you, you, SOL, homie. 
such a wonderful time. And by doing that, I proceeded to have the arbitrations done by the arbitrator. And when the arbitrator, none of the arbitrators were me. <laughs> when the arbitrator made a decision, I'm like, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you kindly. And we just sat back. I sat and I sat and I sat waiting for all the arbitrations to be done. <sighs> now that the arbitrations were done, nobody contested a single arbitration. No one. No one contested a single arbitration. No court has ever said, hey, that arbitration and you, that, no, that was bogus. You ain't getting mother. Ain't no court ever said that about a single one of my arbitrations. Whew. Remember, all I had to do at this point was to do the 1099A and C for most of the Amerilegion people. Their 1099A and Cs have been done. They'll be receiving a copy of it in the mail so that they will have their documented tax credits. Why is it documented? Because there is no prohibition against you getting tax credits for the payment of a debt. Yay! By the way, what you all need to understand is I knew this. I couldn't prove it, but I knew this prior to finding IRS tax topic 453. I knew this in 2018. I didn't find IRS tax topic until 2021. Oops. Just knew it. Now, let's see what we know. Now that I did the 1099A, 1099C, I can now document my credits, but I haven't done my Schedule C yet. I haven't filed the taxes with it. I am getting ready to file the taxes because why? I did the arbitration as a corporation. Say what? As a corporation, TTOPP. That's where all of the awards went. TTOPP wasn't a transfer of debt. Uh, excuse me, credits. It was a transfer of the debts. Yeah, I literally transferred all of those debts that were owed to TTOPP. When they, TTOPP, did the filings of the 1099s, pay attention, it was under TTOPP. It wasn't under my name. Even though the debt was owed me, I could sell the debt. Why? The same as corporations sell debts all the time. Ta-da! And by selling the debt, hold on now. Because some of y'all, 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 y'all moving too slow. So catch up to us. By my selling the debt, it's not a transfer of the credits. It's a transfer of the debt only. Pay attention. Because some of y'all are going to make mistakes. Because you're not going to understand that point. So if you want to be able to transfer your credits at a later date, sell the debt first before you file for the credits. And now... You don't have to worry about the only able to transfer the credits once. Oh, snaps. Okay. By doing that, nobody can get me for attempting to defraud and collusion and all that. Why? Because the debts are all legitimate. You see, I didn't do the arithmetic and I didn't do the credits and I didn't do all of the calculations. Other people did that. So I have witnesses as to the validity of the debt. Don't need a court. The IRS said, I ain't got to go to court. I don't care to go to nobody's court either. What they going to tell me? Instead of out of my business is what I'm going to tell them. You follow me? So that, that's how this works. Now, now that we got the 1099s filed, I just need to file my Schedule C and my regular tax form. I'm going to do it as a sole proprietor. Why? Because if I do it as a sole proprietor, I ain't got to worry about nobody coming at me stupid. Say what? I thought I said you did it in a corporation. I did. But some of the tax credits belong to me. I didn't give them all of them. Some of them I kept. And I got to do it as a sole proprietor. You feel me? I feel you. All right. So now that I filed my taxes and did it as a sole proprietor, what do I do next? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's simple. I sit and I wait. Why? 
because remember, I carried the taxes forward because they're from a previous year. That's a credit that I carried forward, not a debit. Even though it's a credit, it's listed as a debit. How is it listed as a debit and you say it's not a debit? Well, it's listed as a debit because it comes from, pay attention, it comes from a debt. And so long as it comes from a debt, I can list it as a debit. Oh, oh yeah, because it, it derives from a debt. Its origins is a debt. The event was a debt. There you go. So it's an expense. Really? So you put it on your expense account. 1099 Schedule C, 1099, but not the Schedule C. Uh, you put it on the Schedule C, not 1099. That's right. Yeah, put it on the Schedule C. That goes with 1099, 1065, uh, the 941 Schedule C. Okay. And now that I've done that, ladies and gentlemen, there are my credits. Now, hold on. I acquired the tax credits, but what can I now do with the tax credits? Well, remember, tax credits are dollar for dollar. So if I want to, I can take my tax credits, ladies and gentlemen, and I can create a bond. And I can literally write the bond saying that it is backed by those credits. Ooh wee that's money, huh? That's right, because I have something of tangible value. I just created a bond and I backed it by something substantial. And guess what? Credits that are filed with the Internal Revenue Service. Now, they can say all day long, man, them credits are bogus. They can say it, but they can't prove it. And so all I do is I sit back and I wait. Now, that's me clipping some nails because they were getting a little raggedy. No, they weren't. They were getting a little bit jagged edge. Yeah, I remember jagged edge. Anyway. Uh-oh. Anyway. Uh-oh. Where the party at? Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Or let's say I don't want to create a bond. Let's say I want to back something else up with tax credits. Let's say I want to back up cryptocurrency with tax credits. Oh, snap. Well, let's do this. We have the spinners and let's let them play for right now. Um, I just, tonight I just had the song, one of a kind, love affair is, <sighs> that's my song, y'all, there's so many songs, my, 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 ladies and gentlemen, what I did is I put in digital tax credits, pay attention, digital tax approaches, digital tax administration, Digital tax techniques and tools to help your business accelerate and integrate tax data. Well, that's not talking about the digital taxes that I'm referring to. Okay. But digital media tax credits. Understand, I'm talking about the conversion of actual tax credits into digital tax credits. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about digital media. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you are going to get this. Some of you are not going to get this. But I'm talking about credit conversion. Now watch this. Uh, how tax credits are calculated, transferred, uh, can tax credits, no, 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 how many tax credits can you claim? Don't worry about that. Okay, we don't want a conversion video, uh, vehicle. Uh, provides a new federal tax credit for what? Substantially converted the qualified conversion expenditures incurred during the selected 24 months, blah, blah, blah. Bill will create to convert obsolete office space, uh, your office building and office space. Uh, no. And qualified office conversion, nobody cares about the how to claim for. Nope. Why converting a card? Nope. 
tax credits and incentives, uh, low income housing tax credits. It's not giving me qualified business conversion costs. Okay, office conversion. They're not talking about the actual credit converting, converting a tax credits into cash now. Convert tax credits into cash now. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Converting cash into credits and credits into cash. Obviously, it can be done. If one can be done, the other can be done. Hold on. Remember, it's dollar for dollar. <sighs> one third, three trillion tax cuts passed into law last year is being phased out over a decade, but it also means real money in the pocket in the form of savings in 2002, <laughs> because this was written a while ago, ladies and gentlemen. You see it said 2002, so let's see what date, what year. But it's the same, nothing has changed. It's the same old song, but what a different meaning since you've been gone. Oh, why, oh, why? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, January 10th. Now let's read this. Uh, family credits. Here are a few of the most widely child tax credits, dependent care credit, da, 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 da. adoption credits. Cash back to save your money. How would you like to get money back just for saving your own money? The new savers tax credit does just that by providing a credit of up to 50% of the first $2,000 an individual contributes to their retirement plan. Nobody cares about that. Uh, married couples, how it works, cash strapped and desperate. A couple strapped for cash recently came to me for help to earn about 50, they earned about $52,000 in gross income, had two kids and did not own a home. They didn't even know how they were going to pay off their credit cards or debts and were thinking about stopping their modest contributions to their retirement accounts. Or even worse, cash them out and get out of Dodge. Okay, he's only talking about this right here. This is what we're looking for. Using IRS publication 919. How do I adjust my tax withholding? We completed a worksheet Converting credits to withholding allowances. Converting credits to withholding allowances. This is what I think you guys should be going over. This will give you a general idea. I just typed this in tonight. I haven't looked this up before, but this is exactly what I'm... It's part of what I'm talking about. See, I'm talking about converting credits into digital currency. Uh-oh. What did he say, Mama? Exactly. So if you really, really, really are understanding what's going on, if you really, really, really are understanding why the repetition and the fact that you're gaining information step by step, we're going to title this one. I'm going to do it this way, even though, no, I can't do that. But yes, I'm going to do that. Okay, the reason why I say I ain't going to do that, then I say I am going to do that because... I was a fool. Let's do that right there. Okay, that's the first one we do. Copy. Uh, yeah, we could do it this way. That's going to be the title of the video. Converting credits into withholding allowances by converting credits into cash. That's going to be the title of the video. All you guys got to do is do your research on how to do exactly this with what you have. And you don't think like this. Don't think about a W-4. Think outside the box. Okay? Because that box, they can't put enough things in that box. So you, you the box is overflowing. So you got to think outside the box. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the gist of this. This is just me letting you know there's a lot of information. Can't tell you everything, but I can tell you some things that can get you started. Once you get started!